Hello, my name's Samantha. I had an art attack with a wax crayon and a matchstick. Hello, my name is Gemma. I made my picture by covering the piece of orange paper thickly in black wax crayon. Then I scraped my design. My pictures of Daphne the Goddess. Hello, my name's Brennan. First of all, I took an orange crown and drew my background. Then I took a black crown and drew my men. Finally, taking a matchstick, I scraped in my details. Ah, yeah. Great pictures, great technique. An old favourite of mine, that. Wax scraping. And very easy to do. Just take a sheet of white paper and cover it in a layer of coloured wax. And just scribble on the wax and when you've completely covered it go over it in a layer of black wax and you have to make your black wax very thick and when you've done the whole thing you'll have something that looks like that well it doesn't look like anything really because it's just black wax and then you can draw into it or should i say scrape into it using something with a pointy tip now you can use an old pen or a pencil or you can even do what i'm doing and use a cocktail stick it's just a case of scraping like this into the wax and as you're scraping the colour underneath shines through and creates your picture and there it is very simple picture look at that a wax scraping good technique that and look what i've discovered if you cover your paper in a multi-coloured layer of wax instead of putting black wax on top of it why not mix some black poster paint with an equal amount of washing up liquid. Now watch this, if I just mix it all together and then slop it on top of the multicolored layer of wax, just do it very quickly to show you. You can cover the whole of your paper, then leave it to dry, and when it's dry, you've got something that looks like that. And you see what's happened here? The paint has gone hard when it's dry and it's left a chalk-like surface which is perfect for scraping into. And again, you just use the same technique. Find something with a point, and look at that. The colours come flying through. And I'll tell you what's really good about this technique, is once you've done your picture, you can just go over the same piece of paper again with your paint and your washing up liquid mixture. And when it's dry, you can do another picture on the same piece of paper. So how's that? Loads of pictures on one piece of paper. And again, I'm just using the same technique, scraping in very lightly. It's a nice surface to work on this. It's a bit like <laughs> scratching into a blackboard. We all know what that sounds like. And just watch this. I put the moon up there, and then I get a blunter implement, something like a spoon. I can do wider scrapes there. Look at that. Loads of it's coming off now. Again, I'll just pick out the finer points with me pointy tip, like that. And then just a bit of reflection down here in the water. Blow the whole thing off. <coughs> and there it is, another wax scraping. Great technique. Try it yourself. Very easy to do. Wax scraping. And I'll see you next time. Ta-ra.